All right, guys, we're building the Hex 5 to 50 rack today. You're gonna need about two people to do it properly. You can do it by yourself, it's just a little awkward. I'm gonna be attempting to do it by myself today. Build time should be around 20 minutes. If you actually have a power drill, you know, if you're torquing the wrenches manually, it's gonna take a bit longer. But yeah, this is our second iteration of the rack. It's a lot heavier, a lot more solid. Very excited to be putting this out. Enjoy the video. Hopefully it won't take you that long. It won't be too confusing to put the rack together yourselves. Thanks, guys. Very first step, get everything unboxed, unpackaged, all nice and clean. If you're on a cement floor or like a you know tougher surface, it's not a carpet, make sure you put some protection underneath. There's tons in the boxes and the package that comes with to keep everything from getting scratched up before you put it together. But yeah, let's get this build um, started. All right guys, so first things first, we wanna get our two support pieces for the rack lined up on the right sides of each other. So we want, we want the logo and this plate facing outwards. So you can see there's like some room in the middle here to have everything set up properly. From there, as I tend to do this by myself, we'll stand everything up and start getting the first layer of racks on. I'm gonna grab the piece that looks like this. It can be any of them. We're gonna grab one of these plates. Then we're gonna grab two screws, four washers, and then two nuts to seal everything off. Now we're gonna grab the longer screws. There's only two size screws in this video. So just remember, grab the longer set. We're gonna grab this plate, we're gonna line it up. Just like that. So we're gonna grab this guy here. So put it in on one side. Like that. Get the other one. Seal it off with some washers. And then just hand tighten. Imagine that this part kind of on the same angle as the legs. So it's all kind of flat. It's going like this. And then our cross pieces are gonna connect right through here. Yeah, so we're gonna give this a quick tighten, um, rinse and repeat on the other side, and we're gonna put our first cross pieces on after that. We have this cross piece here. Basically what we wanna do is we wanna have the holes so here, the screw holes kind of have like an indent on them. We want it so the screw fits perfectly in. Um, not like this, but like this. So once we place them in, they're gonna be shaped like this. So when the dumbbells go on, they're not gonna slip off. For this setup here, we wanna use the bag the smaller set of screws for all of the cross pieces. To give you guys a better look, the screw here should fit in flush. So obviously you can put dumbbells on top of that, you aren't gonna have any issues. And then guys, now that we got these nicely placed in here, from the small bag of screws, we're gonna get another two washers and two nuts for each side. So the washer, and nut is gonna go underneath. We also have an Allen key included that goes in, obviously fits the top of the screw, so you can bolt it in a lot easier. But yeah, we'll get these set up. Okay, so now that we got the first top section done, it's really important that these screws here, you guys keep loose until the very end after you've done all three sections then you can tighten them. Because when we're putting everything together, you just want the bit of flexibility in case you know you gotta make stuff fit, whatever happens. So next steps, we're actually gonna go through and we're gonna do two more of these on either side and then finish with the cross pieces and then we'll be done the rack. But yeah, we'll rip through that exact same steps and parts as the others. So as you can see, the lower section doesn't need a plate like this here because this plate's already here. So when you just put this one on, you don't need a plate for the bottom. All right guys, for the final step today, we're gonna go around and tighten every single bolt we put together. Now that the whole unit is put together and done, we got our top shelf, middle shelf, and bottom shelf. Of course, we wanna have our lighter weights up top here, descending down to our heavier weights at the bottom. All right guys, and roughly 20 minutes later, your hex rack is complete. Super solid, super sturdy. Your dumbbells should, in theory, if you set it up right, Get racked, 
just like that. Remember you have your lips that we'll do close on here to hold everything in place so no dumbbells are falling off the rack. This will hold five to 50 pounds in dumbbells, 10 sets, as well as maybe another couple sets depending on what weight you put in there. Guys, if you have any issues, we have a phone number that you can reach us at that will pop up on the screen or our email. We're super quick with responses. Let us know if you have any issues and our customer service team will help you out right away. Thanks so much for your support.